Hey guys, I'm Monica Sancio and today I want to share with you my favorite exercises to work out the core. Yes, core workout. I've done it on the ball, you can see my other videos, but today we're just going to use a mat and some of the most effective exercises are also the simplest, starting with the plank. But before going to the plank, which is kind of hard for a lot of people, let's start with the basics. Uh, let's just lie down, face down, yes, on the mat, and we're going to practice uh, working our core muscles, starting with the lower back muscles, specifically the erector spinae that run along your back, your spine, okay? So, as if you were doing yoga, be careful here, you're going to uh, have your hands right um, to the sides of your chest, and we're going to go progressively from this, which would be level one, to level two, and this would be like level three, four, and five. Okay, this is to strengthen one of your core muscles that is your lower back. Okay, we're talking about the core, which includes abdominal exercises, back muscles, and it includes a lot of muscles around your hips, including even your, you know, those uh, secret PC muscles, pubococcygeal muscles, yes, your PC muscles are also core muscles, okay? So then uh, you can practice this at home anytime. It's really important to do it every day, at least a little bit. So level one, two, three, depending on your flexibility, and of course, here we're working out our strength, right here. Okay, let's keep our abs in, navel to spine, as in Pilates, even though this is a typical yoga exercise, called the cobra, and you can stay here three breaths, breathing in and out. Then you can work up five repetitions until 10 to 15, little by little, you can do it. Okay, now let's do the superman, super man, or super girl, or super woman, <laughs> depends on who you are, but try this, or the super girl, I like the super girl one. Okay, you're gonna lie down also, and you're gonna lift one of your legs, like this, alternating one and two. You could start just like this, okay? Um, very carefully lowering your, your head, okay? So that you're not arching, okay? Very important to be all aligned. Your arms to the sides helps a lot. And then you can start here, two, level three, and then come down, okay? What you can do is stay in whichever ever, <laughs> whichever level, <laughs> You decide, let's say this, and then you hold it for three breaths, and you come down. And you could do this five times, as I said, up to 10 to 15 reps. Fine. So this is just one way of doing it. There's many ways. We can alternate here and here. A lot of variations to this. You could also use the opposite arm, coming up like this. Yes. But you can keep your arms to the front and just lift the opposite arm as the leg, opposite of the leg, okay? And how about bow? This is more like Supergirl. You can start here, very low, and then up, 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 up you go. And then maybe into an arch or something. But ready, set, and up. Like in Pilates, like this. Okay, but that's not for beginners. You can just do, like I said, Something like this, one at a time, and then two at a time. That'd be great. Okay, next is the quadruped. You're gonna lie on the floor first, and then you're gonna get your knees close to your elbows. Here, you're gonna place your forearms on the mat, like this. Yes. And I want you to uh, try to make a 90 degree angle, right here. And just hold your abs, okay? Your abs are really important. Ready? And now we're going to lift one leg. You can start here, there, and then until your leg is aligned with your spine. For instance, here, and you come down. And the other leg. The important thing here is to be balanced, not to be off balance. And that balance gives you that core strength that we're looking for. Okay? So lift, strengthen, and then you lower. You could make this more interesting, complicated, challenging, for instance, using the opposite arm, like this, like we did with the previous exercise. This is really good. Okay? So you have the leg, opposite arm. You get the picture. And this is really important. Create your core strength. Stability. It's going to be great for your workouts and 
and in general for functional training, just like you get in yoga, Pilates, and parallel training, the whole body working as a whole. That's fantastic. And remember, we're talking about the core, which includes your abdominals, your back muscles, and also some very important muscles around your hips. Okay, ready? Now we're going to do something a little bit harder, which is like um, doing this, do it like this. Okay, it's a little bit harder than the previous one. This would be a progression. And you could stay three breaths on each position like this. Okay, make it really, really stable. And of course, you could use lots of props, but I wanted to make it as simple as possible. Next is to separate this even further, like this. Okay, this is going to be a little harder because the tendency is to go like that. And that's not very good. You have to hold your abs and this will work your core very well. Okay, and here also you could lift one leg, lift the other one, and use your arms as well. Inhale and exhale. And then you can stay three breaths or so. And then you can come back to a child's pose. Why not? Okay, so a little bit harder. It's going to be like this. Are you ready? We did this one. We did this one. How about this modified plank like this? This is a good one. You can modify it like this or a little harder like that. Okay? So you have this modified plank. This is already a fantastic exercise. And then you can use your legs, alternating, okay, and down. Or, I like to do it sideways. This is a very great side plank. And then you can go like this. And many exercises, do three to five or more. And you can stay here. How about lifting your leg? And you could also do this. Yes. Lower your shoulders. Stable, 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 stable. All right, that works your core. Fantastic. And now, I'll do it on the other side. Same thing here. Remember, it's a modified plank. It's a little bit easier than the whole plank up here, okay? Because we have this to hold us. Okay, so you alternate if you want. And then what we did was turn sideways and do the side plank. We go down with our hips. Okay, we could lift our leg. Do as many reps as you wish. Consult with your trainer. I don't know how fit you are, but these are really effective exercises for your core. They work everything. You mean your deepest abdominal muscles, which are the ones you feel when you laugh. I wouldn't say cough, when you laugh. <laughs> Those profound exercises are done really well, are worked out in these exercises. And now finally the plank. Okay, we did the side plank modified. Now let's do the side plank without the modification, just all the way up here. Okay, and from here, we're going to go down into plank. This exercise is so, so simple. And nobody does it, I tell you. So simple, so effective. And I challenge you to try it at home. You can do it. Also, variations we did with the modified plank, you could do it with the whole plank. In this case, the side plank. Inhale, exhale up. You could lift your leg. You could hold it if you want. Or how about this? One, two, one more time. Yes, you can do it with me. All right, love this. Okay, and other side, same thing here. You do the whole plank, as if we're going to do push-ups. And remember, you have to stabilize your hips. So work with that. You could play with your knees up. If you want, you could play with your arms. You know, some trainers like to to use a lot of variations, music. Have fun with it, you guys. That's the idea. Work out. Always vary your workout so you never get bored. Okay. Try to make them as effective, as safe, and I would say as fun as possible. That way, you'll always be fit forever. And more information about core muscles and everything else at excellentlifestyle.net and monicasansu.com. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you online. Thank <laughs> you.